We are back at it with Women's Tennis on Cards TV. I'm Sean Moss with head coach Mark Beckham. Thanks for joining us. And Cards uh, women's team kind of worked its way on the road through the late stretch of the season, and you, you took a lump or two, but you worked your way to a four seed in the Big East Championship, headed to South Bend, and I know you and the team are very excited. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where, um, you know, we, we did get rewarded for, uh, for the regular season that we had, and obviously us as a team and me as a coach, I think we could have had, you know, a much better season than we did, but the fact is, you know, we were dealing with some adversity, so for us to still, with all of that adversity thrown in there, to still be a, a top four seed and earn that bye, feels pretty good. With the, the, the injuries that you talk about and with the, the tough stretch run down the road, does it feel like the team's able to just kind of erase the slate and now it's the second season? I know a lot of coaches address the postseason that way and now it's, you know, nothing we've done matters. Now we can focus on the task at hand. We've talked about it a bit. Um, I haven't actually been able to talk to the team yet because uh, the seedings just came out yesterday, yesterday after practice. So that's going to be something that we're going to talk about and stress today and, you know, and up until the, till Friday when we play. Uh, but it's, you know, it's the old saying, it's a new season, and uh, you got to forget about what happened in the past. It's not going to do us any good. You know, we have to go out and go have a really good tournament and, and go prove ourselves all over again. The fourth seed is great, but I don't think it's really going to help us win any points on Friday. Yeah, no <laughs> question. And yeah. you can't assume anything by the seeds. The cards with that first round bye will face the winner of the number five seed UConn, or number five seed Marquette, excuse me, number 12 seed UConn. And, of course, you know, the Huskies, can, anything can happen with those, those Big East championship matches. But at South Bend, you, you kind of scout the Marquette team that you saw earlier this year, and you mm -hmm. picked up a win over. So I know you're excited about the potential there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be, uh, I mean, I, I'd have to think that Marquette's going to be the favorite in that match. And uh, uh, I don't want to, you know, look too far ahead, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that Marquette's probably going to come through. Yeah. Um, and the thing that we need to watch out for they're going to be pretty angry because, uh, I mean, we, we had a knockdown drag out oh, war yeah. here, you know, four and a half hours. And, you know, we were down some match points to lose the entire match and we found a way to win it. So um, to, to say that they're going to be kind of excited to see us again, yeah. it's going to be an understatement. So they're going to be ready. You do, you do have some young ladies on this team that have been through the biggies before. Mm -hmm. What can they do to help the Julia Felleroffs and the Becca Shines that are working as some of your top players as freshmen to prepare themselves for what this postseason is like? It's, uh, I'm, I hope they do. You know, I'm going to do everything that I can, but this is one of those things where the people that have been through it, their teammates, are going to need to kind of talk to them a bit and, and let them know that, you know, the Big East tournament, the postseason is different. Um, it's funny, uh, you know, Mandy Brown, she's not going to be able to play, but I remember uh, she had a great season last year, and uh, the very first ball that she hit in the Big East tournament, Bounce on her side first before it hit the net. <laughs> she's gonna, <laughs> she's she's gonna kill me for saying that. But but that's she was she was you know she was just amped up and nervous Absolutely. because of the Big East tournament. But you know obviously she made it through and she she played good tennis in the tournament. She won for us. But uh, it's a totally different animal. So uh, you think you know, yeah. but but you don't know. <laughs> Mandy, there have been plenty of air balls in the first shot of the NCAA basketball tournament. So I don't think that's anything to be ashamed of. As as you travel north, does it does it change the mindset at all? Because you know, there are times where we'll be here in this climate or we'll be down in the south climate, but I mean, you guys are up near Lake Michigan. It's still a time of year where the, the conditions can change and it can send you indoors. Do you, mm -hmm. do you have to take that mindset going in or how do you approach that? The one thing I do, you know, I will say for the schedule that I put together this year and, and the teams we played, we've played in a lot of different areas of, of the U.S. Uh, and we've played in every type of condition that you can think of. So. I don't think that's going to be a factor with, with our team. I'm hoping that it'll be a factor with the other teams. Yeah. But we've played in you know, cold weather, windy, you know, spinning down, raining. We've played in you know, 80 degree weather where it's humid and hot. So uh, indoors, obviously. So we, we're, we're ready for just about anything. So I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be a, a help to us because uh, the conditions, I'm hoping that they won't affect us as much as they will you know, our opponents. Absolutely. So. It's noon on Friday. We encourage you to follow along at uoflsports.com. Big East.org always has a great job with the Tournament Central, and you can see how the cards do in their matchup with the winner of the 5-12 matchup. Again, the cards the four seed heading into the Big East Championship this year. Coach, best of luck. Safe travel to you and the team. Thank you again. For Mark Beckham, I'm Sean Moth. We'll talk to you next week right here on Cards TV.